A Fox 5 iTeam exclusive. Limo company owners and the Super Bowl host committee fear that Atlanta could be short three to 400 limousines and other chauffeured vehicles. Now that could lead to, to some major problems ahead of this big weekend. Yeah, there are going to be a lot of VIPs in town, but the head of the Department of Public Safety insists there are plenty of vehicles. And senior Fox 5 iTeam reporter Dale Russell is here now with the exclusive details. Dale? He does, Russell. Limo companies aren't buying it. They tell me they won't have enough vehicles if they can't use out of state cars and drivers. But Colonel Mark McDonough says state law doesn't allow it. Now you'd think this legal battle would have been settled long ago. But we found the argument erupted two weeks before kickoff. This is going to be a huge, huge black eye for Atlanta. Yeah. They operate some of the largest and longest running limo companies in Atlanta. And on the cusp of Super Bowl weekend, they are mad. We're going to have to break contracts. We're going to have to tell major, major corporate clients we can't handle their VIP travelers. These four limo company owners claim a late decision by the Department of Public Safety to not let them use out-of-state vehicles to handle the Super Bowl overflow could cause them to break contracts, risk arrest, and strand corporate passengers. We're facing an extremely, extremely urgent situation. It wouldn't have mattered, like I said, whether they had requested six months ago or two weeks. You know, the answer is the same. If somebody is asking to be able to circumvent state law, the answer for me is going to be no. But the head of Georgia Public Safety, Colonel Mark McDonough, says not so fast. State law has never allowed out-of-state limousines and rental cars that aren't insured and registered in Georgia. Never. He says company owners didn't ask about any special permission until two weeks ago. Were you surprised when you realized what they wanted to do? Absolutely, because they're basically asking the colonel of the state patrol to set us all state law. That's, that's kind of brash. Some of these owners have been in business since the Olympics and the last Super Bowl. They say they were allowed to use out-of-state vehicles in the past. A different agency regulated the vehicles then, and Colonel McDonough said he couldn't find any written proof that that was true. The bottom line is, in previous special events, in the Olympics and the previous Super Bowl, we were allowed to operate. It went super smooth. The debate erupted just two weeks before people arrived for Super Bowl weekend, when both sides realized they didn't see eye to eye. There were frantic phone calls, rushed emails, and emergency meetings. In the past few days, a member of the Super Bowl host committee wrote Public Safety Colonel McDonough warning him that the city of Atlanta may be short some three to 400 limos for the weekend, and they fear without a solution, this will become a viral news story and a black eye for the state. We're two days from major movement of people coming into this town. Why are we having this conversation? Dale, I wish I had the answer to that question. After getting the host committee email, Colonel McDonough's staff began calling all limousine companies in Georgia, counting available vehicles and checking costs. The result? There is no emergency, says Colonel McDonough. What we show in our survey is that there are plenty of vehicles available out there. And they say we don't have relationship with these people. Some of them are charging too much. We want to do business with people that we've done business with in the past. And they want to do it outside of state law. And that's not something that I'm going to give them permission to do. You're not going to budge. No, sir. Some limo owners are left scrambling, trying to make sure they have enough cars and limos to handle their Fortune 500 clients. And they feel they have only one last option. We are begging Governor Camp to step in and protect the people of Atlanta, the people of Georgia, the people coming in from out of town, and allow us to be able to safely handle their transportation. So what does Governor Brian Kemp say? His spokesperson told me today the governor had no comment. I asked Colonel McDonough if he could just go ahead and grant temporary licenses or waiver to these limo owners. He insisted he can't do it legally. The limo owners tell me their lawyer disagrees, Russ Sine, so the battle continues. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand why, if these limos and the drivers are licensed and insured out of state, why is that against state law? Well, that's exactly the limo driver's uh, argument, that they are licensed, they can cover them insurance-wise. The drivers would have registration from another state, but the state law does not allow it as it is right now. Mm -hmm. And you heard the colonel, he's not going to change anything. Yeah, we just hope they can get it all smoothed out so Super Bowl fans can enjoy a good experience. You know, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. It you will know, be. Hopefully it'll all work out, but 
we won't really know until we get into this, and we don't. We still don't really know exactly what the governor thinks of all this. We shall see. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, Dale.